So good morning, my brothers and sisters. So yeah, yesterday, um, while I sat the pool, at the swimming pool, I met um, these two African guys. One is from um, uh, Somalia, and then the other one is from uh, Egypt. So these guys, uh, you know, we started a little bit, and uh, they were so excited about being in this country. I mean, they told me they have been living here for over 10 years. They came here as students and now uh, they are working. And uh, I asked them, I mean, don't you think of going back to Africa to go and, uh, you know, uh, invest in Africa? And they were like, hell no. We are happy here. This, is, this country is far much better than you know, than uh, our countries. I was a little bit disappointed, and they looked at me like, like, what about you? You look disappointed. You don't like this country? Then I told them, like, like you know, I, I'm not really here uh, by choice. I'm here because of circumstances. And honestly, I would rather be home than uh, being uh, in this country. Uh, and... Um, you know, many times uh, people, uh, they, you know, they have this idealistic uh, person of um, uh, how, they have an idealistic way of how a leader should be. Most of the times when you're a leader, they, told, they tell you, no, no, don't be emotional, don't be emotional, uh, don't show uh, what hits you. And, uh, you know, don't cry, don't complain, you know, be positive, inspire people. That is in my mind, but I, I find that, uh, I don't know if maybe I have not fit to be a leader, but I just want to be me. I just want to be real. I want to be real. I want to say here it hurts. I want to say... Here I'm not okay. I want to say here I'm happy. Here I am. I'm in love. I just I just want to be real. I don't want to be a mechanical human being, you know, because I want to be this leader. I don't think that is the kind of uh, person that I want to be. And uh, like the, these days, uh, you know, I am I am really not okay. I'm really not okay. Uh, I have a situation where clearly it is you are forced. I am experiencing something of, you know, being forced to live outside your country. You know, many times I used to read about being in exile. And it looked simple. But now I am feeling it. I'm living it. It is not easy to live in exile. Unless it is not exile where you... You know, you are pretending uh, that, uh, you know, you are running away from your country, then you go into another country, you know, and because of, um, uh, you want to, you know, to get away with some immigration issues and whatever, whatever, then you say you are in, in, in exile. If you are really in exile, living outside your country, forced to leave your country because of whatever situation that may be there, like my situation, because of my politics, I'm here. Ah, no, no, it's not easy, guys. It's not easy. You can have everything. I mean, I thank God. I have everything, really. I, I, I am comfortable. I mean, this place where I'm, I'm, I'm living, I'm, I'm comfortable. I am comfortable. But every day, my heart is throbbing. Every day I am down. Even the food, you know, before the food, food here is cheap. So usually I would take, I would buy from takeaway and whatever, whatever. But now, I mean, the food, even the food is not tasting nice. I have to, I've started cooking, you know, so that at least I can cook the food to my taste. Because out there, nothing. I mean, when you look around and whatever, whatever, even. Even even girls, for goodness sake, you know, you know, you <laughs> you when you are back at home and you are looking at some of uh, 
uh, these girls, they look very attractive and whatever, but now I'm dull. Ah, even when I'm walking around, I mean, I'm looking at these girls, nothing. I'm just thinking of my home, my family. It is, it is, it is terrible. But what keeps me always is prayer. That's what keeps me. And this morning, I woke up and I was reading, you know, I was doing, I usually do Psalms. I do Psalms, I read the scriptures. But uh, this reading from Romans uh, touched me, you know. I, I came here, I sat here thinking about this, you know, how I'm struggling and wondering God, I mean, what is the way out of, of all this, you know. And uh, I read this uh, reading, you know, from Romans chapter 12, verse 14 to 16. It is just a, a two-verse uh, reading. And it says, bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. And this reading is just, it's a short one, but it is loaded for me. Because when it says, Bless those who persecute you. I know some people will be like, no, you are there because you talk too much. But yes, why do I talk too much? What do I talk about? I talk about wrong things. And I know that through my talk, there are some people that get saved. There are some people that are helped. In my talking, my talking is not just empty talk, no. I talk about issues which are wrong, and I know out of my talk, some people out there, they get the benefits. Yes, I'm suffering for it, but I know for sure that there are people that get the benefit out of what I talk about. Because I don't just open my mouth and talk anyhow. I talk because there is something that is wrong and I want that thing to be corrected. That's all. That's why I talk. So, uh, you, can, you, can, you can find me guilty for, for it, but I am fortified within myself that my talk is not useless. My talk does make a difference in society. So, those who are not happy really about it, I think they're just persecuting me. But again, like I always say, I don't want to uh, harbor grudges. I don't want to be bitter. And this is an encouragement for me. Don't, don't bless those who persecute you. Do not kiss. And surely, I'm not going to do that. And my heart is clear. But then, it also goes on to say, rejoice with those who rejoice. You know, these days, uh, here, of course, I don't meet so many people. But uh, I've taken the attitude of, uh, you know, whoever I meet, uh, I interact. You know, those who will smile for me, I will smile back. You know, even outside from Zambia, from other countries, there are those that are communicating with me, that are talking to me. I thank you. And it says, weep with those who weep. Those who are going through problems. Those who are crying. I know, and right, right now I am talking because I want to encourage those who are weeping. Those who are going through challenges like me. I want to in encourage them. And it says, uh, you know, live in harmony with one another. Of course, try to seek peace. Don't always... Finish, uh, fen, you know, hatred and uh, bad things. Live in harmony. And uh, I'm sure I try to, uh, to do that. And be humble. Associate with the lowly, not the, uh, you know, the proud. And uh, so this morning I want just to say, uh, please, if you are going through challenges, look up to God. God will one day open his ways and show you why you are going through whatever you are going through. I strongly believe that God did not take me out of my country to bring me in this place for nothing. I think there, are some, there is something that I'm learning which uh, uh, will be useful to my life. Uh, it may not be today, but it may not be tomorrow, but certainly in future uh, there is something that I'm going to learn. Also character, you know, just character. Uh, you